Exploring places far and wide is what we love to do at the Travel Intern, so we decided to explore our favourite island at Pulau Bin. Alright guys, so in this video, we're going to be showing you what are the best 10 things that you can do in Pulau Bin. Let's go! The first on our list is to try out one of the many bike trails on the island. There are quite a number of steep and rugged slopes that is sure to get the blood pumping and the adrenaline rushing. The entire island is about 23 kilometers in perimeter and therefore, renting a bike from the main pier is crucial for you to be able to make the most out of your day because the things to do on the island are sometimes on opposite ends. Next on our list is to hike Puaka Hill. So from the bottom to the top of Puaka Hill, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes, but I promise you that the view up there is insane and definitely worth it. You have definitely got to check out Pikan Quarry. You got what looks like a calm, serene lake. When the water stays perfectly still, you get these awesome reflections of the sky that look surreal. If you're looking for something more adventurous, I suggest you try out the Kitam Mountain Bike Park. The park is about 10 kilometers long and is used for both leisure and competitive cycling. The sharp turns and narrow cycling paths are challenging for even advanced cyclists. So do come here only if you are confident with the bike. For coming here, do get a good bike and don't be like us. Don't be stingy. Yeah, don't Rent the better ones. Next, we have the German Girl Shrine, located just along the Kitam Mountain Bike Park. The temple was dedicated to a German girl who died on the island during World War I when the British were rounding up German plantation owners on the island. The shrine is the most well-known in Pulau Bin and is quite a unique site on the island that you may want to check out. So guys, we were on the way to the German Girl Shrine and we found this beautiful beach right here. It's called Kitam Beach and it's something that we really didn't plan on the way, but we sort of discovered it. The clearest water in Singapore. <laughs> Next on our list is to camp at Jelotong Campsite. This is a place that you and your friends can set up a nice cozy tent, light up a campfire, cook up some food, and have a meal by the seaside. And when the night comes, just huddle up close to the campfire, toast some marshmallows, and have a really great time with your friends. Butterfly Hill is the next on our list. This place is about the size of a football field and was created specially to conserve butterfly species. Butterfly Hill offers lots of shade from trees that make it the perfect place to get some rest from the hot sun and an interesting spot to watch butterflies. Check Jawa Wetlands is one place you cannot miss. It consists of six major ecosystems all in one place. And if you're lucky, you may get to see quite a number of wildlife in Check Jawa. However, if you'd like to get the best out of your experience, try to come during low tide. Uh, the low tide is pretty cool though. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of little creatures that you can see. It's time to check out the scenic view on top of Jujawi Tower. So we're climbing up Jujawi Tower right now, so it's about 7 stories high. It's a tough climb but I promise you it will be worth every step. We're almost there. <sighs> So through this experience, we've learned that there is so much more to the outdoor experience here at Pulau Bin. So share this video with your friends and it's time to bring them on a fun-filled day at Pulau Bin. Just keep in mind to take only memories and leave only footprints. So if you guys found this video useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. So I'll see you guys in the next one.